is take a sheet of paper. Now, remember your homework quiz today? You guys had a right triangle, right? Now, when we're talking about the right triangle, we've always been talking about the legs and the hypotenuse. Legs and hypotenuse. Legs and hypotenuse. And just to remind you, because you do do that in special right triangles, the hypotenuse was always directly across from your angle, right? And then your legs are what created the right angle. So that was a leg, that was a leg, and that was the hypotenuse, right? And we use that for the sides, correct? But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys two different options, um, two different things to be able to relate. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to start talking about the angles within a right triangle. Not always special right triangles of 30, 60, 90, or 45, 45, 90. But now we're going to look at the rays. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of put these in different orientation to kind of mess with you in here. So, Let's pretend we have an angle. And to represent that angle, we're going to use this little zero looks or line through it, which we call theta. All right? It's a variable. It's just like a variable. You can think of it as an x. All right? But we're going to use theta for our trigonometry unit. All right? It's a Greek symbol for us. So <clears throat> now, <clears throat> when using our trigonometry, the main important thing is always so we're not going to be talking so much about the legs. Or actually, we're going to give the legs different names. But now, the hypotenuse always remains the same. So if you guys remember how to find the hypotenuse, it's pretty basic to always say, oh, well, I can always easily find the hypotenuse. That's nice. OK? Does everybody see that? Hypotenuse, pretty basic to label, right? OK. Now, the other two which get people confused. The first side is what we're going to call the adjacent side. And if you guys want to write it down or whatever else you can, but all the way that I think of the adjacent side is the adjacent side is the leg that is between your right angle and um, your angle. So if you guys look at, see how this, uh, the right angle and the angle lie on this side? Right? And you guys see how these two lie on this side? You guys see that? They lie on those two sides. That is what we call the adjacent. And what I want you guys to understand is it all changes. It all depends on where the angle is. Because if I put this angle, if I change the angle to up there, now this is the adjacent. Do you guys see that? OK? So it all depends on where the angle is. If you move the angle, your adjacent side moves. But your hypotenuse is still your hypotenuse. Then um, the last one that we're going to have is our opposite side. And where was I? I was looking for something that was, um, Oh, I'll just abbreviate, because we're going to start doing it. So then the opposite side, so your opposite side is going to be directly across from your angle. OK? So when we're going to be using these ratios, you're going to want to make sure you label your triangle first. OK? Always lab label your triangle adjacent, hypotenuse, and opposite. So. That's what we're going to do for right now.